حول ولا قوة إلا بالعلي العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان العين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله آل الله لا سيما بقية الله والعنة الله على آداهم عاد الله إن يوم هذا إلى لقاء الله أما بعد فقد قال الله في كتاب الحكيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقيفوهم إنهم مسؤولون ما لكم لا تناصرون والهم اليوم مستسلمون صدق الله علي القضيب مؤمنين we are continuing سورة صفاء and the verses are recited as verse number 24, 25, 26 and before I read the translation the situation is this that when uh, when the people of hell will be sent towards the hell Allah will ask them to stop okay and now verses start verses are like this stop them for they must be questioned why is it that you do not support one another rather today you are submissive these are the words will be told to them right when they are going to towards hell after judgment day stop them for they must be questioned so so commentator said what is this about questioning now they are already going to hell so the there are a lot of narrations about what will be questioned about will be question about again about oneness of Allah and also it has been said that they will be asked about the vilayat of Imam Ali that if he accepted that or not then Allah will say well, was it that you do not support one another because in the, this worldly life they support each other a lot right this kufa you know uh, you know they used to be always together united front against Muslims you know so Allah said why don't you support one another today like you did in the world against uh, believers rather today they are submissive Allah said they are very submissive like they are really uh, listening to me now today why it's too late they are very submissive right we are Muslim why we are called Muslim because we are submissive to Allah right so that day you'll, they'll try to become Muslim, you know, but it's too late, you know. So Allah said, rather today they are submissive. What, what good is that submission to us when after you see judgment day? The door, there is no way left. Today we have to become Muslim today. Today we have to become Muslim. Today we have to be submissive. Because, you know, like at that time, Abu Jahl used to say to, to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you know, Abu Jahl who was the leader of Kufar at that time, that we are helping each, each other, we are together and we'll fight with you Muhammad. So Allah will say, why don't you help each other today? What you did in this, that world? Now what will happen? I'll stop here. I read few verses. So, uh, transform goes like that. Some of them will turn to others, questioning each other. They will say, Verily, really used to come to us from the right side. Then answer, Nay, you were not believers. We have no authority over you, rather, you were a rebellious lord. That's what will happen. There's a quarreling going on. Okay. Now I'll explain slowly, inshallah. Okay. So they are going towards hell and they're quarreling, right? So, so they will say that you will. Uh, they will say, "Verily, used to come to us from the right side." So there are two people talking to each other. One is leader and one is follower. The follower will say to leaders that he used to come to us from right side. What does it mean, this right side? means he used to come as a religious man right side means to come as a good person as a uh, from, you know, talking about religion but in reality they were misguiding them right right so they will answer no you were not the believers so the leaders will say to follow us that you were not believers either you know you were not believers either And they will say the leaders, we had no authority over you, rather you were a rebellious lot. 
So that is quarrel going on. And this is such a serious quarrel going on. Because first of all, these followers will blame the leaders that used to come from the right side when talking about the religion and used to deviate us, right? So the leader will say, but you yourself were not a believer either. They'll say that. What are you talking about? And they'll say that not only that, and they'll say, we had no authority over you. We just, we were just talking to you, but you're not believers. And they'll say that you followers, you were rebellious yourself. You are not good either. So what you are, why are you believing us that we misguided you? Just see how serious conversation is going on there. فَحَقَّ عَلَيْنَا قُولُ رَبِّنَا إِنَّ لَبَعَيَقُونَ So our Lord's word came due against us that we will indeed test punishment now. So now we will test punishment both of us. The leaders of our Lord because they will blame them that they used to misguide them but they will say that you were not a believer and you were yourself rebellious. So you follow us because you, since you are not a believer you are rebellious you liked us. And you accept us as a leader. So don't blame us. We'll all be in punishment together. For Avainakum inna kunna ameen. So we perverted you and we were perverse. That's it. For in no yuma is in fi azabi mushtarikun. So that day they will share in the punishment together. They share the punishment together. In Kazalika, Nafa'lul Mujrimin. Indeed, that's how we deal with the guilty. That's how Allah deals with the guilty. The leaders and followers, they go together, they have fire. That's how Allah and they share the punishment. So it's very important that who you are listening, what they are saying, build your own faith, don't get impressed by people, and don't let people uh, just misguide you. It is very important to have your own thinking and faith rather than listening to people like this. Now what else there is to do? Indeed, it was they who, when they were told there is no God except Allah, used to be disdainful. These are the people when they were used to be told there is no God but Allah, they used to be disdainful, arrogant. And say, shall we abandon our gods for a crazy poet? They used to call Mahzallah Prophet crazy poet because he used to recite Quranic verses. So he, they used to say there is a poetry and he's crazy who is talking about heaven and hell. You know, what is he talking about? Right? They should do that. And they said that just because of this crazy poet, I don't know, we are not your gods, you know. That's how people are. Balja Abil Haqqi was Saddaq al Mursaleen. So Allah replies to them, rather, He has brought them the truth and confirmed the apostles of the previous time. The Quran is Haqq, Allah says. And, and, and it is confirmed. The early apostles have confirmed it because. Isa alayhi salam said in, that after me is another prophet coming, um, Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam. And even in Torah, in other scriptures, it has been narrated about prophet coming. So Allah says, what are you talking about? Is he, is he a crazy poet? No, he is not a crazy poet. He brought the truth and it has been confirmed in three scriptures. What are you talking about? Innakum ladayakul azabil alim. Now Allah says, because you said it this way. Now what Allah says? Indeed, you will test the puni painful punishment. And you will be requited only for what you used to do. Except, except Allah's exclusive servants. Here is that. So all these arrogant people who make, used to make fun of Prophet are today's arrogant people who take fun of Islam. Allah is telling all of them that this is not, this is a truth. Quran is a truth and it has been narrated by previous scriptures and said you all share the punishment in the hellfire because you became arrogant to la ilaha illallah. Right? But except Allah's exclusive servants. 
عباد اللہ المخلصون مخلصین اللہ عباد اللہ المخلصین سو ہو آر دس مخلص ہو آر دا ایکسکلوزیو سرونٹ دے آر دا ون ہو ان دیر ہارڈ ایزنگلی اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی دے ڈون ترشیب اللہ فار دا ہیون آر فار ہیل بڑھ دے ترشیب اللہ فار دا سیک اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی دے لب اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی سو دے آر کال ایکسکلوزیو سرونٹس اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی نو ہاو اللہ دے انہوں کریڈ دے اللہ ٹاکت اباؤٹ دیز ایروگنٹ پیپل دے دے شیئرنگ پنشمنٹ ہیل فائر نو اللہ ٹاکس اباؤٹ دیز ایکسکلوزیو سرونٹ ہاو دے بی ٹریٹڈ ان جننا ان دے پیرانائز اوکے نو اللہ ٹاکس اباؤٹ ہے اولاکا لہم رزقم معلو اللہ فرس وارڈ اس اس اباؤٹ دے فار سچ دیر ایز ای نون پروویجن اللہ سیز دیر ایز ای نون پروویجن ویڈی بار دے پیرانائز یس فَوَاكِهَا وَهُمْ مُقْرَمُونَ Fruits and they will be held in honor. First thing they will be given is fruits. Now our fifth mom says it means that whenever they wish to have any desire to have certain fruit, it will be presented to them. And they will be honored. They will be a special honor. You know like believers are different class even in paradise. So Allah is talking about the highest class of believers who are totally for Allah. So their, their position is totally different, you know, their treat is totally different, you know, because they are exclusive for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We pray to Allah to become like that, inshallah. We, we do everything for Allah's sake, you know, not for paradise, not for him, but for him. So Allah honor them, a special honor, you know. So what will you honor? Fi jannatin na'i. In the gardens of bliss. These honor one who is sitting in the gardens of bliss and having fruits, you know. Ala surin mutakabilin Ala surin mutakabilin Reclining on the couches facing one another They will be on beautiful couches Reclining and facing each other Like That's their honor you know Yutafu alayhim bi kaksin min ma'im Baida al lazzati li sharibin لا فيها غولم ولا هم أنها ينزفون. Now Allah is talking about them having special drinks. And what kind of drinks is this? Sir, around with a cup from a clear fountain. There will be cup. You know the word can cup sin. That cup, cup sin is called the cup which is full, filled up to the top. That's called. That's the kind they will serve. You know. Put it up to the top. Serve around with a cup from a clear fountain. Clear, ma'in means the clear water. Huh? Snow white. By that means snow white, delicious to, to the drinkers. The, the, the drink will be it's a purified drink, white color and delicious to drink. Full to the top. Full to the top means it will be like from the it will be a fountain which will be like continuous fountain flowing and they will be always drink. It will be always full. It will never be empty that cup. They keep drinking with that and it will be white, snow white, delicious to the drinkers. Wherein there will be neither headache nor it will cause them uh, stupefaction, like intoxication. Stupefaction is intoxication. So there will be two quality of that drink. That, 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 to be, the drink will not, like if you drink, uh, if you drink wine here, what happens with wine? Because it will be kind of wine with purified drink. What kind of purified drink it will be? Where, wherein there will be neither headache, no headache. Like people drink wine and get headache, or all kind of side effects, like all things. Uh, they, they say they when Lafia Gaulum, Gaul means any kind of harm. It will not cause any harm to them, like headache or any kind of side effect. Or neither it will cause intoxication like here. But it is delicious. And that's the this car Shaban Tahura, you know. Uh, you know, purified drink, you know. That's what they will be drinking. Now Allah talks about uh, uh, I read the translation. And with them will be maidens of restrained glances. 
with big eyes. These these hoo these maidens will have restrained glances, restrained glances. Kaasirati tarafin means what? Means their eyes will be only towards their husband. They will not look here and there. Only they will love their husband and look at them, and their eyes will be beautiful, dark black. So they they just look at their husband, you know. And Allah describes them how they will be like. Is it they are hidden ostrich eggs? Why Allah talk about hidden ostrich eggs? Eggs because those eggs are white, like and these they will be like white, untouched, you know, It's very, very, very soft, a very, a very purified, untouched white. So Allah describes those maidens, you know, they will be pure. Now Allah talks further about when these people of paradise in paradise they will be talking to each other, like we 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 had discussion before that when people of hell will be going to be quarrel, right? Fighting each other. Now there's another talk going on in paradise about people of paradise. Okay. For akbalu baadu Allah baadi baadi yata saalu kala kailu minhu inni kana li karin. Now he talks about one paradise person talks. Some of them will turn to others, questioning each other. One of them will say, "Indeed, I had a companion who I had a companion." Now they are sitting in paradise, enjoying all these luxuries which Allah talked about. This one person will say that I had one companion. Now the commentator says, "What? Well, who was this companion? Companion was." Many say that that company is the shaitan, which is with us. You know, the jinn who always tempt us to do wrong things, or, or some say that maybe human shaitan. You know, but the bad guy. You know, either this jinn who is always with us, shaitan, or some sh- shaitan in human being who don't believe in judgment day. You know, they used to come around. So now talk is going on. Now I read again class section. Some of them will turn to others, questioning each other. One of them will say. Indeed, I had a companion. Ya kulo in the kalaminal mustadaki, and what he used to say that Shaitan, the companion, who used to say, "Are you really among the those who affirm?" He used to say that, "Are you the one who affirm?" He used to question, "Affirm is what? Affirm that there will be judgment day coming?" Because he didn't believe that that man. And he used to put doubt in this man's heart, who is in paradise now. He tried, but he didn't get influence. So he used to say, "In the kingdom of Sadaqi, are you the one who who affirm? Ida mitna wa kunna turaman wa azaman, inna la madinun. Kala hal antum muttalun." فَتَلْعَ فَرَاهُ فِي سَوَاءَ الْجَعِينَ Are you reading among those who are found when we are dead and we have become dust and bones we shall indeed be brought to retribution? He used to say that. Then he, the person of paradise will say He will say, will you have a look? Will you have a look on where is he now? He will tell us that His friends in paradise. Do you want to see him now? Where is he? He'll say, "Will you have a look?" Then he'll, then he will take a look and saw him in the middle of hell. That person will be in the middle of hell, sitting there, taking punishment. Kala talahi in kitta la turdin laula nehmat rabbi la kuntu min al mahdarin. He will say, "By Allah, you had almost ruined me. And if and had it not been for my Lord's blessing, I too would have been among the arraigned." He said, "You almost destroyed me when you put doubt in my heart about judgment day. And it was a blessing of Allah that He guided me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be just like you here in the punishment." Mahdarin is I'll be there in punishment with you. I'll be there with you. Then we see, see that we are all guided by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. You know, Laura ni Amad Rabbi, Laura ni Amad Rabbi, right? 
He prays Allah SWT, right? And he should praise Allah SWT. Lawla Nimata Rabbi. What he said? And had it not been my Lord's blessing, then Allah guided him. That I would have been held with you, punishment there. This is the Lawla Nimata Rabbi that we are reading Quran right now with us. This is Nimata Allah. That we are not the one who, uh, who said to that our Prophet was not true Prophet. We accepted our Prophet. We accept the Quran. This is the blessing of Allah that we are reading Quran. This is the blessing of Allah that we are listening to Quran. This is the blessing of Allah that we are asking Allah to guide us so that inshallah we go to paradise and we sit with those brothers who are talking there. And inshallah we'll go with the first of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and with the shafaat of Al Bayt, inshallah. Inshallah, we should be positive. Inshallah. Now, what he says, person of paradise. Afaman Hanu bi mayyatin illa mawdat al ula afaman Hanu bi muazzabin. Now he says two things: being happy there. What he says? Huh? It is that we should not die anymore. Aside from our first death, and that we shall not be punished. He said, now we will not die anymore here and we will be punished. What is this world, brothers? brothers? We are waiting for our death here. And every day we have kind of pain here. That is this world. Why do you love this world? We wait for that day when we inshallah sit in paradise. And there won't be any more death coming. And we will not be punished. We'll be, and Allah describes already what is going to wait till we get in paradise, inshallah. What kind of blessing is waiting for us. But we should be us, you know, we should become far less from Allah. You know, far, smart, far only for Allah's love, you know, because He, Lawla, Ni'mata Rabbi. You know, we should love Allah, that inshallah, He's going to take us there. We should be positive about it. Huh? Then He says two more things. In Hadha Laf Fawzul Azim, Limisli Haza Fal Yamil Aminu. He says, but He says further, this is indeed a great success, He says. Let all the workers work for like of this. This is the great success. And, and he said, let all the workers work for like of this. That is what we should all do. You know, where are we going in this world? Here and there. This is the thing that that is a that is a success is that when Allah accepts his mercy and take us to paradise. For that we should work. We should become purified for Allah Allah. We should focus on Allah Allah. This world just this is, is there just, just a deception. Mullah Muttaqiyan says in the middle of all the time is a deception. We should wait for a bad moment when we are sitting in paradise. We should read Quran and Parna because that we are sitting in paradise on the thrones, seeing each other face to face, being in the gardens, having the fruits, asking if food, food is there, who and are there for us to serve us, huh? and all kind of blessings and being close to Allah and drinking from the purified drink. That's what Allah is calling for us, brothers and sisters. That's what we should look for. You know, not to get deceptive by these shaitans who just comes and put doubts in our heart. These cultures which here around put doubts. Quran brings us towards Allah. Otherwise, this shaitan whispers and put doubts like this. He said that he put doubt in heart. He wanted to put doubt in heart. We should stay from these doubts and stick to Quran and al bayt And especially you have to be very careful that. If you see any oppression of this world and if you keep quiet, you will be among the oppressor. You will stand up and say again the oppressor. We condemn today Israel how he is bombing the innocent people of Gaza, the civilians. We condemn Israel. We all have to do what we can do in a, in a legal and peaceful manner to, to condemn what is happening in Gaza. If you can demonstrate peacefully, you go demonstrate. If you you want to write to your congressman or our, our senator, you have to do it in a peaceful way, in a legal way. So, so that because you have to reserve your civil rights to speak up. Because on the judgment day, and I'll say that when the, the children of Gaza were getting killed, what did you do? Those civilians were killed, what did you do? Otherwise, you'd be among the ones who are oppressors. So, we, uh, we urge people to do in a peaceful way, uh, which, which your rights in the Western world do. Uh, uh, don't be afraid. Speak up and and spread Quran through your good deeds, good behavior to people. 
you know, if people try to label you terrorists, but you show that you are the people of peace. Because Imam is coming soon and we are here for Imam is coming for the whole humanity. We have to become a good example for the humanity. So we, we represent all the oppressed people of the world. Wherever there's oppression going on. Every part of the world. Not only for Muslims. Because Imam is going to come for the whole humanity, not for Muslims. And we we we, we pray to Allah for his appearance and we become his companion. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen.